I'm going to fix in perfect spot on the SOP and versus NSP mode. Well, on my recordable tape, that is. That was recorded similar like the black Phillips VCRD combo. Similar like this way, but with black buttons. A stereo one. I press. I did have to fix it. Watch. I press play, it looks completely normal. Like when I, when I stop play. Watch. See, it's normal. And it's an SOP speed. But. No, and so and so including the SP mode speed, I'm only gonna do the same spot if it's on on my VH, on my blank tapes only. I uh, including the SP mode. Yeah, you should pretty be shocked. I do have the old science logo very rarely. In a stomach turning search for the best hot chili cube. What well, kind of mouse? To see if a mouse can really panic a package. Yep. I'd say you're probably shocked with yeah, it's on a Mythbusters blank tape, but but not only has you will find out it's, it's one that came out in 2013, but it but it's on show you for proof. It's the Paw Patrol, 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 Paw Patrol. If Grady were watching this, that's he probably likes his show, Grady. That is, yep. Go 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 Grady, go 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 Grady. <laughs> I, yeah, I do. Ha I do. I could record. I, I just record 2015. I did this as a Nick Jr. Well, since it's for, since it's in oh, f completely full screen, it's, it, sometimes it's not as always easy on widescreen. But, but it's not kind of okay, but it's just been used for a while. Yeah, it does work. The audio, the audio tone is in good condition, and SLP that is. Just a little bad. It's in good condition. I had to. The reason why I put it in without messing it up, I it doesn't it a little messy and then it clears adjust and clear picture. I just like in the perfect spot on just for this copy that is. Just for the recorded copy that is only. So yeah. I don't really care if I, I'm, I'm, it's fine if my other t if the other tapes were not in best condition and it's adjust as long as it's in clear picture, it's fine. I don't. It's fine. Like, this, so yeah. Actually, nowadays, I what's the difference on the inside is this. Yeah, I have to hold this because the reasons why is because it makes the gunshot it has a weird has the loud sound when I might do like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't hear it too much. You just hear a teeny time. You just heard super shortly because I had to hold it. I just have to hold it so it will not hear the noise. Don't want to hear the noise. Well, just for everyone who doesn't had didn't know, realize it, in case they didn't realize it. And it does work okay. I did have to fix it adjusting, but it's not. It does work okay. Let's see the. Well, it's kind of good. Well, the audio head is kind of okay. I did have to fix it and adjust the audio head. I don't think it have. I don't think it mostly have any issues. Mostly at all, I don't think. Except the recording doesn't work. No audio. No, my fingers not. No, I don't want to talk. That's nothing to do with that. Yes. Yes. There's plenty to do. Oh. Oh, it has to do with the quality of the tape. This is kind of a low quality just tape, just because the audio isn't dam. The audio is damaged by it. But for some reason, if it's in a good spot, if it's in a harder spot, on, like, when it's too soft, it's the sound gets worse. If it's the damaged part that is due to the damaged tape. Even though the tape is, even though, if, as, by the way, the the only mostly the tape is damaged. Just the audio, it is damaged. This is that top is the audio. This one right here is the audio. Audio one. This bottom is the track spot, tracking spot. So yeah. But this one is 
the audio damage. This is the audio. This is the this is the part that we're for the audio spot. But a little damage, but but I know for some reason for some reason it does. I, I, I oh good. <laughs> even though the audio, even though the it's a little damage on top, it still works normally as long as it's in a hard spot. And except un unless if it's in the if it's too soft in adjusting the audio head, it sounds worse. It's not too it's too soft. Too hard if it's like a little sound a little sparkly too much. Like it's spanning up or shit. So yeah. Yep. That's just for the recording copy that is. Any VHS copies are all VHS copies are different copies. Some copies have tracking. <coughs> different tracking. Some have tracking issues. But this one has. This one is in good condition. This this copy is in good condition still. Kind of since I played it too much, too many times. Works okay, even though it does work pretty good normally. Even almost a little dirty since it's been I've been used this for the part that is. Yeah, but it did work pretty good. However, for some reason, it does work fine without any issues. Well, for some VCRs, that is. <clears throat> so yeah. In case it make the tape even damage, it happens. I just have the removing script or scraping it, or it's kind of like I destroy half a teeny tiny bit of this. It's kind of like I carve it. It's kind of like breaking it, but. I have to make it smooth in case it doesn't make any tape damage or worse. Just in case. Just this piece. This I don't know what the white thing is called, but that really they look smooth right here. So yeah, originally it looks what well, it looked like that. I don't think it's supposed to be. It's so hard to explain, but this is a. I and I'll tell you explain the details about the inside of this VCR, and this is what a DVD combo look like in the on with the circuit boring inside this is the this is actually an A version actually this is made in August 2011 I was going to get the 2008 but the mechanism motor sounds pretty different than the 2008 original version model original audio the motor that is yeah this is an A this is dv 2 w 9 a instead of just the Actual version. This is the made in August 2011. But still, looks like it. So it's actually this model is a reprint. This, this magnus, this model, this is very common, pretty common. That is. <coughs> and this, even though this is a Funai made product VCR, this tape, this VCR works. Don't, doesn't have any mode switch problems. There is no mode switch problems, at all. But next time it eats the tapes, I can know how to, I know what to do, you guys. Any of my Funai made product VCRs that eats tapes, <clears throat> I just know how to do that, you guys. Thanks to the VCR King YouTube channel, I saw how to click clean a mold switch. These were this brand name is made actually a Magnavox, not the actual Funai itself. Usually, Funai product. You VCR you originally originally wasn't just usually usually didn't use the actual name to, until 2014. It looks similar like this, but it was have Funai, and then 2015 I'll show Sanyo it looks similar like this. This is an A version, so it's another. Ver this is the version two model. This model was version two because of the motor sounds like. So yeah, this is because it's made in 2011, and it does not have the remote. It I do, but I do. It doesn't have the remote when I got it, but I do have a remote. I don't. I actually I do, most. Actually, I don't have the actual remote, but I do have this remote. 
Actually, the DVD is inside. I'll put this here. I put a, it's a Wallace and Gromit DVD. See? Three Vase Adventures, but it's a DreamWorks DVD. Put in, let's show you what the inside of the DVD part. <coughs> as a matter of fact, I do record on DVDs as well. I, I usually I do record on VHS tapes. I do make a homemade VHS tapes like this. I pretend this is a rank video, like the barcode sticker, so I just have the white screen death at the end. I do make homemade VHS tapes out of the white screen death, but usually extended playmode tapes, similar like the rank video in the late 90s, similar to Little Bear tapes. Or Bear Big Blue House EP mode tapes. Yeah, it works pretty good. This is well uh, for some reason this this DVD drive is replaced that was taken from that DVD player. I so I could tell this one is very long. That's why. But except the circuit board, but it did work fine. Yeah, I it works pretty good as you can see. I didn't mess up any I didn't mess up any uh does work pretty good. I guess I just nowadays I've almost been a month since I first got this. Got this on almost a month ago, probably four weeks ago. It was actually from eBay. Yep. I have two Funite Prog VCRs actually, but the other one is the VCR DVD recorder. That's the one I can record on DVDs. <coughs> yep. Yep, this is... I have to get... Get rid of, get rid of this thing. Piece. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's here. Here's the, I'm going to show what the inside of this VCR, which is Funai product that is. Here's the pitch roller. This is, I don't know what this is thing, but this is made of plastic, not not metal. I know the, some of these that holds it are made of metal. This is, I'll be set, no, not Funai models. But this is the motor. Here's the, whatever that thing is. This is, the, this is a ribbon wire that t attached to the video head. Without it, it doesn't work. There's a circuit board over on the top. This is, these are the transporters. This is the erase head. But for some reason, that the erase head doesn't really work. It doesn't really record properly anymore. When I first started recording, just worn out. I don't know why. It just it probably used to work properly, pretty good until I start recording the first time. It didn't even even a little mess up in fixing it and stuff like that. I had to fix it. There's something I'm fixing. No, I get it's got a little loose. I got to fix that. So yeah. Yep. It's kind of saying something. I add something a little different inside the VCR. I'm a little messed up a little bit. So yeah. Nowadays it works pretty good. Works okay now. Not. I'm glad it's not broken. It's not ruining it. It's not. I'm glad I didn't ruin it. Even though I did mess it up. So yeah, in the first place. So yeah. But since this is a, this is actually that I just knew this will work completely. See, this remote was taken from a Sylvania DV two two zero SL eight remote, which I have a broken one. I have it still, but I just use it for just the that input only, which that does have does the line one does work while it's off. That is so yeah. But in the, this, since this is a line in recording, this is what it looks. This is what the. This is what it looked like. No, no, no channels. See, only inputs. <coughs> and by the way, this model kind of looked like the MWD two two zero six, which that's the gray version. There you have. They they look similar like if it's gray, but. 
If it's gray, that was the May 2006, which that has channels. But the gray one version that looks similar like this does have channels. With the words that were up top, not the, at the bottom. And this model looks like the MW2206. It kind of looks resembled. Except the DVD player's display is different. This is this displays a lot different than one of the old models. <coughs> so yeah. So yeah, I think that's all I gotta say with the inside of this VCR DVD combo. So yeah. That's all I gotta say. Subscribe to my channel, everybody. Drop a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time on our next video. Bye bye.